hello my people and once again welcome back to 26 is a number series you're, you're with your host Roy Kabara Dirango and uh, today we are going to talk about something a topic which not many people like to talk about it's called excuse me it's called mental health and mental awareness so basically what I'm trying to say is um you know the way us um, when they say us they say Africans we tend to 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 say anything we don't understand is witchcraft or uh, is uh, not normal well that's uh, unfortunately so wrong you know things we don't understand definitely has some science behind it even um, okay a religious uh, is, a, is a long story but what I'm trying to say is mental issues are real now and people are suffering or thriving with them like for instance i have adhd and ADAD. sure sometimes uh, i might crash but sometimes i might like do three projects at the same time and like go flawless or get you know above average i mean my whole high school and uh, my whole school life i have never felt any interest in any of them but i have always just done the bare minimum you know no study for exams no no preparation for anything just like wake up take my you know fit there and i always got above average basically um my attention was more of uh to more interesting things like you know playing and anything which is related to uh you know activity is more more fun to me and um, now i know that well i was diagnosed in 2016 but i refused medication which um which i think is was a positive but uh, i think it's something you can tackle with the change of lifestyle as well as medication as much as everybody denies the best is you decide what's best for you and um, don't be afraid you know it's uh, it's something which happens to a lot of people a big percentage of this world is driving in where you know well they're psycho and they thank god they keep their crazy to themselves because it's better to be yourself even if you're crazy but also you have to remember you you want to fit in in society so you have to sometimes be the norm so people who are divergent divergent is another no i think this is neurodivergent what bro what are you talking about man okay i'm not too sure but hey, let me say people who have mental issues tend to to be more real or uh, tend to be more faker depending on the situation and it's not uh, it's not something good i would recommend you to 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 go see a psychiatrist or something if you feel this pressure on you or you feel like something is really really not working out always seek uh, guidance it really helps like uh, i believe our country kenya is full of um, people with mental issues and mental trauma like for instance when i was in netherlands looking for a job i was lucky enough to meet another kenyan and um, he told me a very interesting story well he is half kenyan half uh, you know no, european he, his father is the kenyan one and he said that um, his he, he, according to him he assumes uh, or his theory is in kenya we have four generations of trauma either trauma from uh, oppression or trauma from uh, physical punishment you know beating their children or trauma from um, just life in general and then what they do they take that trauma and they pile up on uh, on their kids and the cycle continues like for instance he told me him and his father they always argue and all that you know his father is um, is a, a, a is a jaluo a learned jaluo so like uh, his father always like doesn't want him to say you know he's always his father is always down in him you know and whenever he says something let's say like an idea for the farm his father says something uh, you know something like you you how do you know this you're not even smart enough you don't have a phd yada 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 because him he doesn't have a phd he's doing you know like a physical job but uh, he he believes he's getting information via podcasts and all that so it's uh whether it's very interesting this is very interesting so every time when we were we were talking i could uh, i could tell he he wanted me to agree with everything he said and uh, every time i tried to say something different 
he was trying to raise his voice and like um intimidate me into saying yes is correct but i i I like sometimes pushing people's buttons <laughs> so I was like telling him no no so like I, and I could see it was like really really like you know making him fume up then I told him like ah now I see why you like you know you don't want to accept it's like you know the way your father was doing to you like t- whenever you told him something he was like ah you're wrong or you don't know now you, you're going to come and do the same to me yeah telling him that maybe wasn't the right uh, thing to say but it really you know it really made him shut up but anyway what i'm trying to say is mental health is um, very important and uh, it's okay if you feel like you're not normal it's okay if you think you need help go get it if you think um you can help yourself try but when you th- when you see it's becoming destructive always ask for help nothing the worst thing which can happen is you not asking for help so you feel it mentally effed go and get an a doctor to help you that's a a graded doctor peace y'all